Now let me tell you guys about a story. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading episode 11 to 12. So as you guys already know that I have now announced that I am expecting. <laughs> and so I am in my, my last trimester. <laughs> and i heard the ice cream truck and in my area there's like this really famous ice cream truck that serves soft serve ice cream and i heard the music <laughs> and i look at the radar because they have like a little map of like where all the trucks are at and i was like oh my god it's down the street so i got my pregnant ass up <laughs> and i ran with my dog well not really run i kind of waddled there with my dog and i got the ice cream and I'm, I'm happy, but I'm out of breath right now. Okay. All right, here we go. Let's get started. Uh, 11 to 12. Mr. Stalker? Awesome. You remember me. So, how have you been the last couple of hours? I'm sorry. I think you got the wrong person. Yeah, right. You can't fool me. Huh? Holy crap, he's strong. Hey, let me go. If I do, you're just going to run away. You seem to be pretty good at doing that. What do you want from me? Well, hold on. If Ponytail and German Boy know each other, then it's possible that the Ponytail Guy also knows Mr. Stalker. And since Ponytail Guy was with the Q-tip at the hospital, that means Mr. Stalker and the Jerkface Q-tips are friends? Oh, badass, badass, badass. Oh my god. Did that Q-tip tell him all the terrible things I did? It's not like I did those things for no reason. Why are you looking at me like that? Anyways, there's a few things I need to address. First, the payment. Payment? Oh no, is this uniform? I can't afford to replace that. I could barely even afford to the donuts here. Oh my god. What if he's also talking about the Q-tip suit? That's $20,000 total. Should I sell one of my kidneys? Humans can survive with just one kidney, right? But I don't want to sell any of my organs. Why are you still making that face? Please don't sell me. Uh, don't make me sell my kidneys. Ah, uh, don't yell. Oh, my ears. I wasn't even being that loud. Could it be... I remember whenever Papa was hungover, he would be sensitive to loud noises. Is he experiencing the same thing because of the drug he ingested at the party? Ah! Uh, what the heck? He's gonna have, have to let go of my hand to cover both of his ears. Ah! Stop yelling! Can you let me finish what I was going to say? No. Not today! Hey, my hat! Um, is everything alright back here? The customers are complaining about some girl screaming. Oh, <laughs> I'm so sorry about that. I have everything under control. <clears throat> um, alright. Just make sure you and your girlfriend keep it down. Otherwise, we're gonna have to ask you both to leave. Oh. She's actually not my- <gasps> You almost suffocate me! Oops, my bad. <sighs> Seriously, though. Hear me out about the payment. Because I was being incredibly careless at the party. You used the money I gave you to take me to the hospital instead of going home. I'm sorry. Wait, what? You're not talking about your clothes? My clothes? Are you talking about my uniform? Oh, don't worry about that. But the taxi payment, let me pay you back. There's no need. My friend drove me home. You know, the one you prank called? And that was your money to begin with. Oh, I almost forgot about that. How did it go? Did your friends fall for it? Heck yeah, they did. They were freaking out like crazy. Nice. They freaked out even more because I was at the hospital too. I'm pretty sure they learned their lesson. Man, I wish I saw their, them react. We should do the, these kind of things more often. <laughs> we'll make such a great team, am I right? Yeah, we definitely would. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> anyway, about what you said earlier. Who did you say you were hiding from? Oh, um, might as well be honest. I was hiding from your German friend, the ponytail dude, and the Q-tip. Q-tip? Oh, I'm sorry. The dark hair, blue-eyed guy? <laughs> Q-tip? That's hilarious. By the way, can you let me go now? I need to go to the restroom to escape. 
You don't want anything else from me, right? I guess not. I don't think you can escape through the bathroom, though. But I could help you bypass the guys outside. No thanks. You already helped me enough last night. <clears throat> I'll wait here if it doesn't work out. Thanks for the hat and the donut. Whatever. No windows? <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Looks who's back. Your plan didn't work out, did it? Would you like me to help you now? What do you want in return? You want my hat? Nothing. I just want to help. You are being too nice to me. It's making me suspicious. People can be nice without expecting anything in return. Yeah, sure. Can I have my donuts back? You don't care about your hat. You can keep the hat. Food is essential for survival. You abandoned this donut. It's mine now. You want to fight for it? You sure are interesting. Fine, I'll give it back. But only in one condition. Let's be friends. What? Are you seriously using my donuts as leverage? I'm being serious. If I have to bribe you with food, then I will. I'll think about it. Really? Yes. I'll consider it after you get me out of here. Deal. I didn't even say yes, so what's the plan now? Do you have eyeliner on you? A brow pencil? Oh, no. But I got this marker that makes what that was in my dad's jacket even better. Oh. Oh. This is your plan? Won't this draw more attention? It's a good disguise if you ask me. Can't you just distract the Q-tip or something? Since he, he's my biggest problem, he just had to be waiting by the exit. I don't want to bother with him. Why not? Aren't you guys friends? He's not my friend. He came to pick you up. So worried, too. Can we not talk about him? Please. Okay, sorry about it. Just walk out the exit. He's not going to look at you. He'll most likely be glued to his phone. Huh? Then what was this disguise for? That's just payback for calling me Mr. Stalker. Here's your marker back. So <laughs> what are you doing? You think I would just let you get away with this? Oh, I should have never given back your marker. I have places to go after this, you know. Calm down, you can wash it off with some soap. This is permanent marker. Soap doesn't take it off easily. I wasn't paying attention, I'm sorry. Stupid. <laughs> Why am I always finding myself in trouble? None of this would have happened if Maya's bakery was open. <laughs> I'll distract K Kazuke for you. You mean the Q-tip? If it get me on your good side, then yes. This was all my fault after all. Also, out of curiosity, why are you hiding from the Q-tip? I threw a steak at him and my shoes. <laughs> oh, and uh, my friend also tackled him. Ah, that's right. Sushi. Sushi? I forgot how to pronounce that part. Told me something similar. Although I'm not aware that he got tackled. I want to make sure that... Did I say that? I've been saying his name is Sushi for this whole time. Saoshi. Uh, it says online... Saoshi. But if it's wrong, please help me out, you guys. I'm not familiar with this type of name. This is Korean or Japanese. I'm not sure from the way it all sounds. But if I'm wrong, please help me out by typing out how it's supposed to sound. It's not sushi. It's saoshi. According to this Google thing. Whew, what a name. Okay. You called him the pointo guy. I go ask him to help me distract Kusuke. If that makes you feel better. You will? Yeah, waiter. Yo! Saoshi. Man, that guy really is persistent. Friend, huh? I love you. Bonus for this week, chibis. And a quick game guide. Shine Yu. Maya Park. Rika Lau. Theater. Nol Yongi. Kusuke. Hirahara. Oh. Shaoshi. Oh. Alright, making sure I'm reading to 12. 
outdoor cafe. Yo, Xiaoxi. You sure took your time. Yeah, sorry about that. Huh? Dude, what happened to your face? What were you even doing in the bathroom? My phone died and I got bored. <laughs> so you drew on your face and wrote stupid under your eye? She wrote what on my f I mean, yeah. I thought it was a fun thing to do. <laughs> anyway, Sasha, can you do me a favor? Sure, mate. Wait. Since when you were uh, were you wearing a hat? Ignore my hat. Can you talk to Kasuke for me? Just distract him for a little bit. Why? I'm helping someone out right now. She's trying to leave this place without Kasuke seeing her. Seriously? Another one? Man. That dude is always getting into trouble with little ladies. I can never get it. He can be such a prick. I guess it's true what they say. Women are attracted to jerks. I think he is his, his skin. He got velvety smooth skin as soft as a baby's bottom. Um, okay. You guys don't think he has great complexion? Whatever you say, Dieter. So, why do you need the, to help this chick out? She's your bro's problem, not yours. You know that girl that threw her shoes at you? What? I'm trying to get her to trust me. No way, she's here? Yeah. Who are you both talking about? Where is she? Is she in the bathroom, isn't she? I bet she's the one that threw drew on your face. Hey, Dieter, come with me to the bathroom. Why? Wait, what about Kusuke? I'll help you after this. Come on, Dieter. Why do you want me to come? I wouldn't go if I were you. Cleaning lady coming through. I wonder what's going on. Huh? Oh, Dieter, you want to? You want me to drag your butt over here? What's so special about the bathroom? Saoshi, I don't think this is a good idea. Crap. Why was he he pointing this way? Is he heading this way? Come on, mate. Shaoshi, just leave it alone. Okay, fine. All right. What's in this bathroom anyways? Someone you know. You? That does it. I'm hiding in the bathroom until they all leave. Excuse me, miss. Can't you read the sign? Bathrooms are closed for cleaning. What? You gotta be kidding me, right? We always do maintenance around this hour. If you don't like it, file a complaint. I deal with crap every day. I don't need any more. Ugh. Why me? Looks like I have no choice but to run past Q-tip. <sighs> Hope Mr. Stalker is right about the Q-tip being glued to his phone. I told him I was avoiding all those guys, and now they're all heading this way? Way to go, Mr. Stalker. Oh, whoa. You need to start watching where you're going. You again. I messed up. My friends are coming. Go hide in the bathroom. I can't. It's closed. Yongi? Darn. Too late. Yo, Shine? What's up, ye? Uh, uh, what are you doing? Don't you have something to say to her? What? Confess, mate. I got your mat back. What's wrong? Uh, Shaoxi, it already happened last Friday. Did you not know? Dang, what did she say? Did she reject you? Without hesitation. Oh, I I'm sorry. See, I told you this was a bad idea. Why didn't you tell me anything? I thought you knew already. Wow, this is awkward. Cheer up, mate. I'll be by the, by you. I'll buy you that one curry sausage thing that you like. Bye. I was like, wait, well, bye. <laughs> they misspelled bye. I'm not in the mood for curry worst. Is that what they, it's called? Come, let's get head back to our table. You know, you could have been nicer turning him down. You really hurt him. <sighs> What's done is done. And by the way, you just lost some friendship points. Friendship points? You broke the deal. You said you were going to help me bypass your friends. I did say I was going to help you get past them, but our original deal was just to get you out of here. <gasps> that is true. I'll get my friendship points back then. Do I get them back? <laughs> if I get them back, don't say anything. Hooray! Friendship points! How old are you? Four? This guy's weird. Oh. Was that me? I think that was me. Uh, all right, come with me. 
why? Since they already know you are here, why don't we eat with my friends? Let's just get to know each other. No thanks. I just want to leave. We can do that after breakfast. I already ate breakfast. Remember the donut you held hostage? If you don't want to help me, just say so instead of wasting my time. I was hoping you would sit and talk with us at least. Uh, no way. That's one awkward conversation, especially with the German guy I rejected. To tell you the truth, I wanted to tell you to talk to Dieter and make him feel better. He's been feeling down since the rejection. Of course he's going to feel crappy. Who wouldn't? But you were too harsh. If I was nicer about it, would it make a difference? No matter how much I sugarcoat my words, it's still rejection. He felt bad no matter how I put it. If I act friendly with him right now, would that make him feel better? It, I'll be just sending him mixed signals. I don't want to lead him on after I told him no. Besides, I'm better off if your friends end up hating me in the end. One less person to deal with. How's acting cold better? You already have people calling you a bitch behind your back. You remember the other guy at the burger restaurant? If it makes him feel better, let him say what he wants. You don't care what people think of you? <sighs> like I said, let them say what they want. Insults won't get to me. Do you want my phone number? Huh? What the? Why in the world would I want your phone number? Thanks for reading us. See you next Friday. Oh, the sushi. Okay. So for a second there, it feels like we're kind of unwrapping something. So why is it? Why is it that Shanae is not, or like the way she's trying to present herself, that she's not bothered by people's convert, like talking about her negatively. Like, why does she have that wall up? What happened? And also, you can all see Yonggi feeling kind of protective of her, even though they're strangers. Honestly, they're starting. They're more of a acquaintance right now, but you can see that he's kind of protective of his friends and Shanae, even though they just met. So. I feel like it's slowly unraveling here, but I could be wrong. All right, guys, if you guys enjoyed the way I read this, reacted to this webtoon, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!